Conversational Serial and Oral Latin Course. Step 41. The second category of declension. The nominative in this category can end in us as dominus, dominus. It can end in er as in magister, magister meaning teacher. Remember to pronounce your R on the end, magister. It can end in um, as in saccharum, saccharum. And this is a nasalized U on the end of the word, saccharum, sugar. Casus nominativus, the nominative case. Quis ibistat? Dominus. So who is standing over there? Dominus as the subject of a sentence, is standing over there, in the nominative, ending in us. Casus vocativus, voca ilum, call him, and the response will be in the vocative. Domine, domine, ending in e, if it terminates in us. Dominus, vocative, domine. Casus accusativus, quem vides, whom do you see? And the answer in the accusative, dominum, dominum, ending in um. Casus ablativus, cum quo ibis, with whom will you go, cum quo ibis, casus ablativus, and the answer in the ablative, Domino, cum domino, with the master, cum domino, long O on the end, cum domino, ending in O. Casus dativus, cui servis, cui servis, to who do you serve, or to whom do you serve, and the answer in the dative, domino, ending in O. Domino. Casus genitivus, which is also the possessivus, the possessive. Cuius est vox, of whom is the voice? And the answer in the genitive, domini, masters, apostrophe s, or of the master, master's voice. Domini. Ending in e. If we arrange the cases in the order nominative, vocative, accusative, ablative, dative, and genitive, we get a pretty mnemonic. We can use this mnemonic to remember these endings easily. Us, e, um is the last part of the word museum. Us, e, and um. Museum. So that gives us the first part of the uh, memorization thing, museum. So the mnemonic will be museum ui, museum ui, the two o's for the um, ablative and the dative, and the e on the end for the possessive. Museum ui. Here are some second declension nouns we have used already in the course. Servant, servus, Serwe, servum, servo, servo, servi. So we have us, e, um, o, o, e. So usium, museum, ui. So servus, serwe, servum, giving us the museum part. And servo, servo, servi, giving us ui. Two o's and an i. Hat. Pileus. Pile, pileum, pileo, pileo, pilei. Same again. Us e um o o i. Museum ui. For the endings. Pupil. Discipulus, discipule, discipulum, 
discipulo, discipulo, discipuli. Us, e, um for the endings, and then o, o, i. Hos, equus, eque, equum, equo, equo, equi. Following the same pattern. Us, e, um, o, o, i. And some of them, subcategories of the second declension, end in er, or in um. These are subcategories of the second declension. Teacher. Magister, magister. Magistrum, magistro, magistro, magistri. So it doesn't follow the museum ui um, mnemonic. It's a subcategory. And there are some grammarians who would even say it's a different declension entirely. Magister, magister, magistrum, magistro, magistro, magistri. Sugar, this is a neuter, and it's a subcategory of the second declension. Saccharum, 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 saccharo, saccharo, saccharri. Now, one advantage of putting the uh, cases in the particular order I have is that when you do have a neuter, the uh, endings, as you can see, form a very distinct pattern. The nominative, um, the vocative, um, and the accusative, um, are all the same. And then we have the rest of the forms which are not affected by its being a neuter, saccharo, saccharo, saccari, which follow the pattern of the others. If you like this film, it will appear on your YouTube feed. So, maybe you want to like it.